Howdy, this is David Grosher, Texas Tax and Lawman. Welcome to 2019 and the 2018 tax filing season. I know it's the new year and you have just been waiting for the chance to file your taxes. Well, I have some exciting news for you. They have changed the Form 1040. For new taxpayers, that doesn't mean much. But for the old timers who started out writing or typing in their tax information into the blue printed Form 1040, this is big news. For the last 50 years, the IRS has had three different personal tax returns. 1040 EZ for the person with only a W-2, 1040 A for those with just a little bit more, and a 1040 for everybody else. Now, before the big reveal, I want to give a shout out to that one tax enthusiast who's been longing for the IRS tax form the size of a postcard. Oh yeah, we know you're out there because the politicians told us you wanted a tax return so simple you could file it on a postcard. Well, here it is, the all new super simplified Form 1040 that fits on a postcard. Isn't it beautiful? Just look at it. It has room for your name, your address, your family members, and then your signature. Isn't that awesome? It shows your name right there on the front. Your name. Oh, to see if you owe tax, you have to turn it over. And when you do, you see that this pint size return has only 23 lines for 2018 compared to the 79 lines on the 2017 Form 1040. Now, setting aside my dripping sarcasm and utter disgust with the absurdity of that change, let me make this as plain as possible. The new form may be smaller, but it is not simpler. It requires you to complete six new schedules that combine the data that you used to enter on old schedules A, B, C, D, E, or F. Now, they're called schedules one through six, and they combine the information differently. The IRS says that the new tax form is aimed at being an output form, not an input form. So prepare to be a little confused and frustrated as you hunt for the right box to put your data into, and then try to transfer it into the right output. Remember that old Disney movie, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? That's what the IRS says we're watching. But when we show up to watch the movie, it's really, Honey, I Blew Up the Kids. If you would like some help, give us a call and let our team of tax pros make this easy for you. Until next time, adios. Texas Tax and Lawman Legal Disclaimer. Hey, I'm a lawyer. You know I have to have some lawyer mumbo jumbo. This is a general information video not client attorney privilege information. The content is information only and is not directed to any specific facts or circumstances and cannot be relied upon as a legal opinion, even though that would be nice and save you a trip to the lawyer. If you have a specific legal question, feel free to contact David Gross directly or seek qualified legal or tax counsel in your state of residence, state of mind, or whatever place you call home.